ABC 7 News at 10 continues with Karen Jordan, Rob Johnson, weather with meteorologist Phil Schwartz, and sports with Jeff Glancy. This is ABC 7 News at 10. Communication in hurricane-ravaged New Orleans was almost non-existent days after Katrina hit. But there was a dire need for simple, secure, and quick comms for those leading the recovery effort. For the Army's elite 82nd Airborne Division out of North Carolina, getting connected meant contacting a fledgling Schaumburg-based company, which offered cutting-edge technology. After Hurricane Katrina walloped the New Orleans area, the 82nd Airborne descended upon the region to search for survivors, help with evacuations, and secure an area that desperately needed security. But without power and communication systems destroyed, the Army turned to Bo Peisker of Schaumburg-based Lemco Corporation, which provided portable, nimble cellular service in a short period of time. What Lemco does is we've taken the hardware out of a cellular network and we run it on software so it can run on a very small uh, laptop computer. So Peisker and his colleagues spent two weeks in New Orleans setting up these systems at a naval station and at the New Orleans airport where seven government agencies were struggling to communicate coherently with one another. We came, gave them their own private cellular network, handed out phones to, to all of them. They were able to communicate with each other very quickly and very efficiently. The government was able to use secure phones off of its own system, which Peisker believes could be the future of disaster response. We think that cellular can now be used as a, a, a solution for disasters or for military tactical situations where prior, prior to our technology, it was impractical to do so. Peisker also envisions using that technology to help local governments communicate in the event of a natural or man-made disaster. Also this weekend, a memorial service is held to remember 